So the price that Kim Jong-un pays to get these defectors back to North Korea from China is giving them a lot of woods in the mountain. As a one person, you cannot possibly know every single thing. You need the people around you tell what is wrong and what is right. But now I look at Kim Jong-un's photos, he's dying from his own greed. There's so much suffering in his eyes that he's also agonized inside. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Uh, so today I'm back with such a wonderful news. What do you think that could be? It's a news of Kim Jong-un actually got another stroke and like literally just two or three days ago in Pyongyang. Uh, this news got out through a North Korean defector who was a very high ranking, had a connection to Kim's family and he still has people in the region reporting to him. So he reported that Kim Jong-un got another stroke. Do you remember last year or during the springtime, Kim Jong-un collapsed during the, the, his, his missile test near the airport. And that news got out and Kim Jong-un were disappeared for almost like a month time. And literally every media were saying that Kim Jong-un is in coma, he's already dead. And he, all his brain dead, all of that news came out. And it, the, those like news though, it wasn't like complete baseless. Kim Jong-un, I mean health was always so bad that nobody knows when this guy is gonna die. So literally just look at his photos right now. His aging is so fast. He's only 37 years old guys right now. And you wouldn't believe this young man in, isn't like looking this much weight. I was saying in the last video, right? In 2011, when he came to the power, he was only 90 kilo kilograms. And now he's over 200 kilograms. He gained 110 pounds in less than like five, six years of time. So I will talk about why Kim Jong-un is so stressed. One of the reason is actually just natural disasters happening inside the country. Uh, because of I told you, there is no energy in North Korea that people only way they can cook things or like not dying frozen to death is cutting the woods or finding branches in the mountains. But this is not only why North Korean's mountains are naked. It is also Kim Jong-un when he uh, brings the factors from China back. So the price that Kim Jong-un pays to get these defectors back to North Korea from China is giving them a lot of woods in the mountain. So literally we are like uh, some stocks that you know China captures the defectors and send it to North Korea and North Korean regime sending them to a lot of woods in the mountain. But when you don't have the trees in the mountain, what happens? A lot of flooding happens. So North Korea dealing with both of one flooding and drought. So that causes so much harming to North Koreans, I mean, farming industry for the last like several like years or at least like 20 years by now. Every summer, North Korea is affected by flooding very, very hard during the rainy season. The other problem also North Korea is dealing with is that the internally people are not content. This uh, COVID pandemic, of course, in North Korea as well, and Kim Jong Un would go like literally at some point he would kill like thousand people because they he thought they broke the COVID rules that he made. But which the the COVID rule that he made for North Koreans were completely ridiculous. It's not how you prevent the COVID that way. And he would like literally tell North Koreans don't even go breathe the way that. Uh, air comes from South Korea. He thought that air going like how many miles down can give them COVID. And that's why he would tell people like don't go out outside of your door and don't breathe that way. But like North Korean people cannot afford to like guys working from home with their laptop. They have to go outside to find the grains, find the plants, I mean somehow find the food and energy to eat. And this, uh, unfortunately, that's why people had to leave their homes and then Kim Jong-un would like, get upset and execute them. So people are not content and this is a big problem. The other problem that he is having now is the, you know, that he wasn't able to get a big deal through Trump. 
that he somehow thought if he, you know, giving a false promise to Trump saying, oh, I'm gonna denuclearize North Korea, why don't you give me money first and why don't you lift sanctions first? And of course, Trump is not down. He was like, no, I want you to remove the nukes first, then I will, will like lift the sanction. And North Korea, once that happens in Vietnam, North Korea was like, no, nope, that's not the deal we want. That's why Trump left Vietnam like that. Because what Trump wanted was denuclearize North Korea first and then giving them lift of sanctions and economic uh, help. And Kim Jong-un, of course, he thought he could like uh, and lied to Trump. So everything didn't work. Internationally, North Korea still is not a normalized trade nation. It's heavy sanctions there. And second, internal problem and the old natural disasters. Another th thing is that he's been, because of dealing with stress, what the method he's been using is actually drinking. He's a, like almost alcoholic, guys. He cannot go to bed without drinking. And Guess what? Who his drinking mate, drinking mate is? It is exactly his mistress, Hyun Jong Er. That's why she's been rising rapidly in North Korea's Communist Party system. Everybody in Pyongyang is so shocked as a woman, and she's not even coming from any political background, guys. She was literally a pleasure squad member who was singing to the father of Kim Jong Un, like Kim Jong Il. And now she's suddenly number like 31 most powerful person in North Korea and assisting Kim Jong-un everything. So she's actually to the point that she's managing like where Kim Jong-un sits when they are taking photos. This like uh, photos with Kim Jong-un is a, such a big deal in North Korea and she manages that, even that. But because how she's able to so close and be favored by Kim Jong-un is she's uh, paying Kim Jong-un every night drinking with him and once he falls asleep she would put him sleep and that's her role right now and that's why she's so loved by him but the thing is like because letting dictator do whatever he wants I mean for North Korean regime's sake I want Kim Jong-un to keep drinking and until the point there's no more tomorrow for him but you know like Kim Jong-un this is a thing guys when you're a dictator right they, everyone is fearful of you. So the problem is that when you're a dictator, right, everybody else around you, their number one priority is keeping their life safe. And therefore, even Hyun Sung or the mistress of Kim Jong-un, I mean, cannot tell Kim Jong-un like you should be stopped drinking for your health sake. That like if he gets upset about it, she might get executed for that. And there's nobody left around you can actually tell the truth as what it is. And this is actually how dictators usually go you know, away eventually because you can, as a one person, you cannot possibly know every single thing. You need the people around you tell what is wrong and what is right and someone to even criticize you and those constructive criticism usually make us better. And dictators do not have a like, thick skin for that. They just have to be, they are very narcissistic. They always have to be, I mean, praised and adored and worshipped. And if somebody doesn't do that, they just kill them. So everybody with a good conscience all got killed. And now Kim Jong-un, his fate is this, that nobody is able to tell him anything and he cannot control himself even. He even losing the battle with his own self. And this is why a good news for all of us guys. I'm glad Kim Jong got another stroke. It's such a happy news for me. And I do really truly believe that as I explained the last video guys, this might be a chance for North Korean people. When Kim Jong un like when he looks like that much aging every single year and look at his skin right now, right? That the fatigue that he gets, we can see in his eyes, it's not a clear eyes. Maybe this is how God revenges the dictator and giving freedom to North Korean people. And the only thing that comforts me to see Kim Jong-un is that, you know, this is a resort, guys. You know, I, in the past, I was so, so heartbroken for my people. When my people are suffering this much, even like they are battling for every grain to survive and let their child to live, not dying from starvation. 
I was thinking of these dictators having pleasure squad, having this all this leisure. But now I look at Kim Jong Un's photos. He's dying from his own greed. There's so much suffering in his eyes that he's also agonized inside. And I guess that's why life is fair. That when you give that much suffering to other people, you can never be happy. That's why we have to be fair and do the right thing for our sake. Thank you guys for watching, and I look forward to seeing you all next time.